Okay, so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've got a really exciting video for you. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me whilst I tell you random facts about myself and we just have a little chat. So, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you do enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up because then I love you. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I would try out a bit more. I'm using actual professional lighting. I have had these for years and I've always just been like, a lover of natural lighting but let me know what you think so let's just get started <laughs> i am currently looking a bit of a mess so let's sort this out right so i i'm gonna put my little headband on so please excuse what i'm gonna look like for the time being also disclaimer my makeup looks really orange until the end it's because my foundation is quite dark for me however once the lighter concealer's on, once the powder's on, you know, it all comes together and matches me. So yeah, don't think I look like a little satsuma. Anyway, so I start off with my NC Skin moisturiser, basically. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a little catch-up video of you all, maybe tell you some random facts about myself if you don't know them. So, what should we start with? I started my, I actually started this channel, this is actually quite a fun one, with my best friend. So I have... I have lo not loads of friends, <laughs> that sounds really bad, but I have like one best friend who's been my best friend since Dale was born. Our mums are best friends. We have a long distance friendship. <laughs> anyway, we actually started the channel May 2016 and we started it together and Katie, <laughs> she just really was not <laughs> loving it. Um, so the channel was actually called KS Vlogs and I just thought, cute name, whatever, I was like 11 years old. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in shade, I don't know what shade, sorry guys, <laughs> um, I'm a beauty blender, but basically she didn't really like doing it, I, we didn't really take it seriously at all, we uploaded one video, if you want to see us reacting to that video then give it a thumbs up, this video a thumbs up, it'd be quite funny, but um, she basically, yeah see what I mean, it's quite orange, she wasn't really loving it and I was a bit putting a bit of pressure onto her because I wanted it to be like an amazing channel. I wanted to take it so seriously. Because um, I actually tried to do Mushy Monster videos when I was eight. That went seriously wrong. If you look at a video I did in 2018, it's called I've Never Talked About This Before or something like that. I, I explain what happened. Uh, it was dodge e. <laughs> anyway, don't start YouTube when you're eight. But basically, <laughs> it didn't really go anywhere. And then we changed the channel name to KTXO Summer because I was like, I don't like hair anymore. I want to be cool. And then Katie was hardly uploading. So I was like, you know what? I'm changing it to Summer XO Katie. I'm going to be the main beast over here. And um, yeah, she didn't really care because she wasn't really into it. <laughs> but she was good at it. I found her video so funny. We used to like upload separately on separate days and she'd always say, oh my Wi-Fi is slow, I can't upload. And I'd be like, oh, that's fine. Anyway, the channel became mine. Mine. I started it properly end of June 2017, just before I turned 13. So I turned 13. Also, look at that spot. I turned 13 on the 9th of August 2017. So I was 12 when I started it properly. And I just really wanted to do it properly, like, I didn't even know, like, I had an idea you could earn money from it, but not, like, a living. I thought you could only earn a living off it if you had, like, four million subscribers, you know? Um, so I never thought it would be a career at all. And I didn't go to school much because I have chronic pain and fatigue, if you didn't know. it's the, I was born with hypermobility syndrome. And then I developed like hypermobility syndrome is very common and a lot of people only have minor issues with it I was one of the unlucky ones actually no I hate saying that because I could have it so much worse I'm so lucky but um I wasn't at school much so I just took it very seriously because I could just sit down chill I started off doing makeup and I did like um all kinds of eyeshadow looks all of that good stuff guys I'm sorry about this blending I'm just really trying to make it blend I did all makeup, I was just obsessed with makeup because I could just sit, when I was tired, I could just sit in bed with my eyeshadow palettes and paint my face, you know? So anyway, Katie wanted to leave the channel by the way, I didn't kick her off. 
I was like, look, Katie, I can tell you're not enjoying it. Do you just want to stop doing it? She's like, yeah. I was like, sorry. But um, yeah, and it just didn't take off at all. But I didn't care because I was having so much fun doing it. I would sometimes even upload twice a day. Like, I genuinely was obsessed with uploading and filming. And I carried on and on and then and on and on. And then I remember I hit 100 subscribers. It was either 100 subscribers or 200 subscribers. January of 2018. And I was so happy. I literally, like, was so, so happy. And, um... And then I did a video called How I Earn Money as a 13 year old. Anyway, it didn't blow up at first. It didn't, nothing really came of it. And then in May 2018, April or May 2018, that's what it started going really viral. Like it literally went so viral. And it was the like most watched video on my channel for years. It's been overtaken by a few now, but that's what kind of got me seen. And I literally was ecstatic, like I was so young, I was like 13 still, I didn't turn 14 until August um, 2018. I was like, this is, this is just amazing and I was so happy but yeah and then I hit, the year later in 2019 I hit 100k and then things really slowed down. I mean, YouTube is dying a bit, let's be honest. And I haven't taken it seriously all of the time, which I do regret, but you know, everything happens for a reason. And I don't like uploading when, like, I don't do this for the money. There's no, I just don't do it for the money. I never started it for the money. Like, I was so young, I didn't even know, I thought you had to have millions to earn money. So I never thought I'd earn money from it. And yeah, so, hang on. <laughs> I'm finding my concealer. Where is it? I use the L'Oreal. I haven't even shut the lid properly. What is wrong with me? The L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Concealer. Um, in shade, I've got really shaky hands. Look. <laughs> it's a bit worrying. It's because of meds, you know? <laughs> I put that under my eyes, by the way. So, yeah, anyway, I didn't take it very seriously after I split with my first boyfriend and got with my second one. I was just in a really low place. Um, I came out of a, I broke up with my first boyfriend, but it was very hard. Like, we're friends now. It was what had to be done for the both of us. Like, we had, like, it was just so toxic. And that's not me saying he was toxic. We were, we were both toxic together. Like, we just were not good together. Like, obviously, uh, it wasn't one or the other person's fault. It was just the two of us together, and we are fine with other people. Well. I mean, he, he's not with anyone now, but he would be fine with another person and I'm fine with my person, with my tobes. So it's just like a clash of personalities. Anyway, so after that, I didn't really take my YouTube seriously because he helped me a lot. And um, yeah, and I just regret that a lot. But I don't like uploading when I'm sad. I don't like uploading because a lot of people be like, oh, you, you need an this and that you need you should have done this and I'm just like well I, don't, I didn't want to force myself to film if I didn't want to film like I was barely earning any money then because I and I didn't care because I just wanted to heal and I didn't care that I wasn't uploading and yeah it might have caused a hit on my channel now and I might be getting less views but at the end of the day I don't really mind because I like filming the videos like I just like filming them and yeah it's sad when like less you have less people that love your videos now but people grow I don't watch many YouTube channels anymore either like people I used to love I don't watch them this doesn't mean I don't like them I just grown out of it you know and that's why I don't get really sad about others not watching me and like TikTok's taking over the world so yeah that was not even a fun fact that was a whole bloody story time god um but yeah I Another fun fact, I used to cry every night. I was such a cryer, okay. This is really, <laughs> it's getting a bit deep now. I need like, I look really cakey, hang on guys. <laughs> Let's de-cake. Yeah, so I used to be like such a cryer. This is kind of a fun fact, kind of just a really, really random one. <laughs> right, I use the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Pound Cake. Oh, this is brand new, so I'm going to have to... Oh, I hate when this happens. You have to take the little sealy off. Anyway, I used to cry all the time. And this year, no joke, I've, it's March. Is it? Yeah. 
and I've cried about three times. You know how, like, if you know me, that you know that's big for me. I used to cry constantly. And then three times, oh, it's nice and fresh. I don't use it, I use a little bit blender. Um, I put the powder on my windowsill. That sounds grim. I'm in my mum's room, actually, but... Yeah, let's just ignore that. So, I... What was I talking about? I've literally completely forgot. How have I forgot so easy? What was I talking about? I'm gonna drive myself mental. No, that's not normal. Or crying, crying, that's the one. Basically, I just bake in my T-zone and then, you know, all the, all the key places people tend to bake. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not very professional, as we all know. Why did I just do that? Put that in already? What is wrong with me? Um, yeah, and them times I cried, literally, because my dad had anaphylactic shock. <laughs> so I, I think kind of... That kind of, you know, excuses the crying because I thought he was going to pop it, you know. Oh, there's a spot there. I could pop that. Not with makeup on, though. And I know you shouldn't pop spots. Never pop your spots. I just gave really great advice, as ever. Um. Anyway, also, the other time I cried... Actually, I've only, like... I'm actually writing it down. I know it sounds really ridiculous, like, why are you writing it down? It's because I saw a girl on TikTok do it for last year and I was like, I'm so doing that. And I just thought, I've come a long way with crying. <laughs> this is so weird, but you know, if, if you know me, you know, I promise. But yeah, and the other time was literally the other night because I just got really scared about my future. Not scared, like, not about my future, right? <laughs> like, I know I'm going to do well. Well, I bloody hope, I bloody better. But I just, like, got really worried because I was like, I don't want a boring life. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I just got really stupidly emotional and it was just really ridiculous but you know it happens any more random facts i can think about yeah sorry this powder looks such a mess i am fully aware of that also the bed's broken right now what i do is i take my contour that my sister stole yet again so i'll go get that and be back i got the goods baby i use the nyx deep tan bronzer but i use it for contour i've just always done that i don't know why recommend me a good contour down below because I need one, because I've only ever used bronzer for contour, and I don't really know if it looks good. <laughs> well, I think it does, because I look good. No, I'm joking. Um, also, I know I'm not really delicate with my makeup. I'm fully aware I'm useless, like I said, but let's go with it. Any other random facts? Um, if you don't know, I have two dogs, Chip and Roxy. Chip's six, and Roxy is four, but she's turning five this November. Chip's just turned six the other day on the 4th of March, um, but my dad's actually allergic to dogs, <laughs> bit weird, but um, he's like violently allergic to cats as well, but um, anyway, we Chip's a complete non-allergenic dog, like, what does that mean, like, he doesn't shed fur, he's a Bichon Frise and a Poodle, so we got him first, yeah, we got him first, and um, my dad's absolutely fine with him, and he's actually fine with Roxy. Roxy is non, like, she's a Pomeranian cross Maltese. And we also did a DNA test on her. I found out she's a bit chihuahua. But she's, like, mainly Pomeranian and Maltese. And because Maltese is also one that don't shed fur, she don't really shed fur. She has, like, sh shedding times. Like, there's times on my bed I'm like, uh, Roxy, babes, you got your, your black fur all over my bed, love? <laughs> and she goes, sorry. No, obviously she don't speak. But my dad's actually fine with her, we think. But, um... Yeah, who's... But anyway, we never had a dog because of that. And also just because me and my sister were enough. Like, my mum didn't need a bloody dog to look after. But I was actually... I really wanted a dog when I was little, but my mum didn't get one, which I'm sad about. And I, But I understand why, because me and my sister were young and we were absolute nightmares. But, um... I Anyway, then I ended up getting really bad anxiety and I was petrified of dogs. Like, I was, I was that girl that... If I came around your house, you'd have to put your dog outside. Like, I was petrified of them. And I actually didn't even want Chip when we got him. Which, I hate saying that, but I really didn't. Because I was scared of dogs. And he was literally diddy. Like, he's he was tiny. And he was, like, nipping at my feet. And I was so scared. Anyway. <laughs> long story short. He's my best friend now. And I absolutely love dogs. And I can't wait to have tons of dogs when I'm older. And I'm going to be that. I want to rescue dogs. Like... 
I want to have like, I don't know, I want to do something with dogs. A bit weird, but I just love dogs and I love, oh, I just, oh, my heart melts for them. That is so over the top, but you know what I mean. If you love dogs, you know what I mean. And it really annoys me because my boyfriend doesn't have a dog and I know that's so stupid. But like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a red flag if you don't have a dog. But then again, I didn't have a dog for so long. Why is my hand got muck on? Uh, got muck on my hand. I need to get a wipe. I shall be right back. Oh, God. So what I do now is I put my contour over my eyelids. I know that sounds really stupid, but trust me, it adds, it adds something. I don't know what it adds, but... <laughs> It's like, instead of eyeshadow, you know? Hang on, I'm just making sure my little bit... And also it doesn't make it crease, which is nice. But yeah, I'm, I don't add much because I don't want to look like... You know, I've just done really rubbish eyeshadow. But, um, what other fun facts have I got about me? I don't really know, I'm quite a boring person. Uh, let's have a little think. Fact, if you don't know, I was born with nearly black hair. Like, literally jet black hair. And my sister was born with um, white hair, like white hair, when I say white hair. Um, anyway, now we've swapped hair colours. So, well, as she got older, hers went brown. Well, mm, it was like really light brown, like mousy brown. Her hair was like really nice, but then she, we've swapped hair colours. So I have like the really light blonde hair and she dyes hers like black. It's quite funny. I don't know why. <laughs> also polar opposites. She doesn't really like coming on my channel, which I get, because it's not everyone's cup of tea. People don't like being in the limelight, and we're just complete opposites. Or actually, no, as she, we're growing up, like, she's becoming more... I can see traits in her that are more similar to me. But she's just turned 16, and I'm 18. I turn 19 August the 9th, and I don't know what I'm going to do for it. Well, it's ages away, so... Also, fun facts, I'm going to LA soon. I'm so excited. I had two dreams. Right, so basically, it's going to sound really sad, but I struggled with really bad depression. Um, I've been fine for a couple, few years now, but I struggled with really bad depression when I was younger, just due to many, like, many things. But um, I really struggled, and um, the only thing that ever kept me going was having dreams. I know that sounds so like, mm, I have a dream, it makes me feel better. But no, that is the only thing that, like, this is why travel, no, not even traveling, like, this is why when things happen to me that I've always dreamt of, it means so much. And I just, people may think it's silly. Like, I cried when I landed into New York. And it's because when I was really depressed, even when I was like eight, which is very young, and I wouldn't wish that on anyone, but, you know, I came out, so I'm happy came out of the other end that is but um I would literally like sit there and be like one day I want to go to New York and I'm going to do it I want to go at Christmas I'm going to do it and I did it all by myself I paid for it all by myself and it just means a lot to me because I there was times where I was like no I'm never going to do it I don't know if I can be here anymore blah 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 um sorry it's got a bit depressing but I just never knew if I could actually do it and I did it and anyway where this is going is I'm going to LA in less than two weeks and that was my second dream. I had two dream places to go. I have like other dreams in life, but I mean holiday wise and just like exploring. It was Christmas, New York around Christmas, which I did last year and LA. That was my dream, like trust me, when I say that kept me going, it kept me going. Like I would always look it up. I would constantly be like, I can't wait to go one day. And it just kept me going, I'm gonna cry, Jesus. But yeah, people may think it's a little. I literally cried when I landed into New York. And I don't know why. <laughs> well, I do know why, because it means so much to me. And a lot of people, like, it's so silly because a lot of people have, like, grown up going to, like, LA or New York because, like, their parents, their family can afford it. And trust me, we've never struggled. Like, obviously, like, during recessions or whatever, obviously, everyone, most people did. But we've, we're not, my family, we're not, we've not, when we don't struggle, we've never really struggled, but we're not rich, obviously. Like, my mum and dad, they just, they both work, they don't have ridiculously high pay, they have, like, good pay, like, they're, they do well for themselves, but it's not, the, the like, to the point of where we go, we could go to, like, America every year, you know? And we had, and I don't really care, because we had great memories growing up, and I, and I, I don't like it doesn't bother me whatsoever but what I'm saying is like I did this for myself and I'm proud of that and I couldn't have done it without all of you god this has got so deep I am so sorry guys <laughs> but you know it's nice to catch up <laughs> nice to talk about 
depressing things every now and then. No, I'm obviously joking, but yeah, I just it people think it's silly because like people have grown up going to these places, and yeah, I just I really hope one day I can you know just take my sister, my mum and dad. Well, to be fair, my mum and dad have done so much of America. And LA isn't really my dad's speed, you know? He likes he likes the more different places in America. Like they I think they've been to like eleven states or something like that. Which is quite cool. I've only been to is New York a state, this is gonna be really stupid. I don't think it is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am not very good at geography and I got a two in my GCC. So yeah, that just tells sums it completely up for you all. <laughs> but I'm just so excited for LA and I can't wait to make content for you all. And then after LA, I don't know where I'm going to go. I mean, I've got like family holidays. I'm going to Mallorca again with Katie in, on the 16th of June. But um, I've not really got anywhere cool booked other than that. Not cool, obviously all holidays are cool. Like, you could take me to a caravan park and I'd have some fun. But I mean like somewhere I've never been. That's what I mean. Um, yeah, and I'm I just don't know where. I think in Miami. I I'm I want to do Bali, Thailand, Philippines, just like all like Southeast Asia stuff like that. But I don't know when. I want to be a bit older. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm a bit nervous, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, now I'm gonna do my blusher. So for blusher, I use NYX. Yeah, again, NYX sponsor me. No, I'm joking. Uh, okay, well I would tell you what it is, but I don't know. But it's in the shade Daydream. That's all I know. I love blusher. I used to hate it, but now it's like, give me the blusher. I love it. It makes me feel. Has everyone seen my like cream brush blushes on um TikTok? I can't get my hands on them. They're always out of stock, and it's really making me annoyed. And then hang on, I'm just gonna like blend it all together. I feel pretty. I'm pretty. And yeah, anyway. Um. Also, so if anyone has any recommendations for me. Of make like makeup wise, please let me know because I've been using the same makeup forever, and I just want some you know some new recommendations. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Right, I need to find my eyelash spoolie because again, if you know me, I do my eyelash my highlighter in such a weird way. So I do my highlighter so weird, you can't judge. <laughs> it's just because it's just I can't bother buy a tiny brush, and also look how precise that is. I'm sorry, but look, it's precise. I do it. This is the Becca highlighter in pearl. And what I do is I just do my inner corners. It's such a good highlighter. I don't wear highlighter on my cheekbones as I just feel like, you know, I have spots and it draws attention to them. Don't worry, if you have spots and do it, don't worry. Nothing wrong with spots, trust me. <laughs> I know how you feel. But yeah, and then I do my nose. I literally, I feel like highlighter just, it just, you know, it brings everything out. I love a bit of highlighter, I really do. It's just so pretty. I feel like I didn't really tell you facts in this video, I feel like I told you more stories, but who cares? I'm still gonna call it facts. You can, there's still facts, technically, they're just long, very long facts. Oh, I just love highlighter. I could cry. Cute. I feel like my contour on my nose needs a bit. There you go. <laughs> Fixed it. And then I brush my eyelashes. I don't do my eyebrows. I haven't done them in years. Just because I just look so weird. And I can't I can't do eyebrows. Like my eyebrows are fine how they are. I don't really know. I've never had anything done to them. Like obviously sometimes like when I was younger I used to get them waxed, but I don't even do that now. I just pluck them. I've never shaped them. <laughs> I, I've never had like literally anything done to them. But I don't know, I just like them how they are, which is rare for me. It's like saying, is it? Oh, yeah, I look pretty, I look pretty. Anyway, now I'm using my NYX Line Loud in shade Ambition Statement. That is a bit of a big word for me. No, I'm joking. Um, I need to, like, here we go. I need to sharpen it. <laughs> I love sharpening lip liners, that is a really random thing. Oh. Let's see if I still have one after that. Oh god! Now that's funny looking. Oh well. We'll go with it. I'm lining my lips now. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> um, if you're on a budget, these are actually such good lip liners. Cute. And then I'm taking my Pixie lip gloss. I've had this years. In shade Bonbon. It's just like a cute little pink one. I just think it's pretty. It's very sparkly, but... Oh my god, I love my makeup. Okay, I'm so happy with it. Guys, can we just have a round of applause for the makeup in the room? Oh, okay, cool, some of so cool. So, that is the end of the video. I'm not going to do my hair because I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm so happy with my makeup. So, if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and please, please subscribe if you are new or just you know just please i've got lip liner all over me for god's sake oh look it's even there look brilliant i love this top as well it's from primark i literally live in primark pajamas but oh well. anyway yeah comment down below some makeup recommendations if you have any for me because i'd really appreciate that because i need some new makeup i mean my makeup's fine but i just you know it's, it's fun <laughs> give me recommendations please anyway i love you all so so much to the moon and back I hope you did enjoy this video and I love you all so much. Have a good day. Bye.